What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Pinnacle Gaming, and today we you guys another episode of my Braves franchise. And in this episode, we are at the All Star break of the 2017 season. We're currently sitting at a record of 35 and 53, which is, I mean, we're about which is 18 games under 500. So we're not necessarily not in the greatest position in the world, but I mean, we're still rebuilding. I believe next year will be our year to start emerging from the rebuilding rebuilding process. But um. So we're at the All Star break. Didn't send the All Star game yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And now is via the AL. The 2017 All Star game has secured him field advantage. All right, good job, Adam. Triple A All Star team. Ah, that's okay. You can send that too. Well, right. and I won five to four. Good game. It's a good game. So let's take a look. Uh, sign. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the standings. See here we have. The Mets are in first place, 48-42. Nationals tied first, 47-41. Phillies are 38-51, nine and a half games back, and we are 12 games back. Not terrible, not in terribly out of it, but I mean it's pretty much strapped up. And the Marlins are one game back of us. See, we have a three. I mean, we're doing. I, th I feel like I feel like we're doing better than we were last year, if I remember correctly. But I may be wrong. So you know, so with that, well. With that, we'll check. Um, we'll also check the round around the league. Cubs obviously killing it. Not shocker. The game loves the Cubs. Dodgers also killing it. The uh, Giants, the Giants and the D-backs have an impressive surprise. And look at the Rockies staying in there. Only three games back, and we have the Padres, who are like us. National Wild Card Giants, American League East. The Rays have been. The Rays have actually been pulling a stunner here, taking first place behind the Blue. Blue Jays are a half game behind the Yankees and then the Red Sox. In the Central, we have the Tigers, 15 games up, absolutely killing. I believe they have the best. Pretty sure they have the best um, record in the MLB, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Astros are two games up in the West, in the AL West, and the Blue Jays hold the first wild card spot along with the Angels, Rangers, and Mariners. No, Rangers, Angels, and Blue Jays. So with that, with the round of league taken care of. Now let's take a look at our own farm system. So here's our rotation now. Colby Lewis been a very very nice signing as create as gives a lot of depth because of injuries and whatnot. So we have we're setting a record he's setting a record of four and one one point eight one ERA. That's fantastic. Matt Whistler, um lot lots of strikeouts, which is awesome. ERA could be down. Like that'd be nice. So we're all still going up, so that's I mean, if that means anything, it's good. Mike Fulton Newich actually done really well. I mean, from to my surprise, he's done really well. Two and three. I mean, I mean, records kind of records are misleading, and for, at least for us, because we can't hit. Mike Fulton Newich, three point six eight ERA. This is what we like to see. Homegrown, homegrown coming up from the minors. Julio Tehran. <laughs> he's Julio Tehran. Enough, enough said. And Brett Anderson, who. In the last game, he did fine. Like he was going, he was going six and two thirds. Then we were getting to the last. No, it was maybe it was um seven. But either way, he was he was he pitched he was pitching fantastic. And then all of a sudden, get the two outs, bam, exploded. Like just completely imploded. And he's seeing a four point three two ERA. I definitely I'm definitely gonna be shopping him around, around the All Star around the All Star break. Uh, our bullpen has been fantastic. Alex, Alexio Gondo, 2.25 ERA, 2 and 0. That's brilliant, and he's and he's 33 years old. That's brilliant. He's not so much. I might have to send him down. He's doing okay, 4.08 ERA, 0 and 2 record, but a 1.69 ERA and 42.2 innings pitched and 46 strikeouts. That's awesome. That's fantastic. We would like to keep you. Chris Capuano might shop you. I signed him just for death purposes in the bullpen, but he hasn't really been getting the job done at all. 5.12 ERA, not good. Even, oh, God. <laughs> Lots of strikeouts. I mean, these guys get a lot of strikeouts, but it's just ERA is insane. Keon Kua, the one sign or the one trade I'm actually happy about that I was actually able to get. Thank, I'm actually I'm happy he's actually working out. That's nice. It's good, it's good to see. Paco Rodriguez. Absolutely shut down. 2-0, 30 strikeouts, 27.2 innings pitch, and a .98 ERA. That's insane. Uh, our Rodis Viscano, he's actually been getting it done. 
three and one, three point eight six here. I'd like to see that go down a little bit, but he's been getting it done. Here's our lineup: Malik Smith, two seventy one. That's that's fine. I mean, and I, he was batting three fifty earlier, but you know, everyone's gonna have their their hot hot and low streaks. And Aaron Ciarte, pretty disappointing so far. First half of the season for him. Not exactly what we like to see. That con that contact's been going way down. We need to work back. We need to work that on that. Freddie Freeman batting 322, outstanding. Is I believe he's second in the NL in batting average, if I'm not mistaken. Adonis Garcia, he I, he's he's the part of the problem. Tyler Flowers batting 254. I mean, I'm not expecting too much out of this kind of catcher, but I mean, it's just fine. I mean, a catcher, I'm not I'm not expecting like a 320 batting average. I mean, as long as he can hit home runs, I mean, and grab some guys when needed. And the only problem is. When these guys can't get on base, it's usually just that's usually what happens because sometimes we can't hit, and it's usually just Freddie Freeman getting on base. Steve Lombardozzi, who's actually been pleasantly, been, actually I've been kind of surprised, batting 291. Jorge Blanco, he says he's catching a hot streak, but from what I from what I use from what I um play with him, he's been god awful, and so has he. I've really been disappointing. I was hoping they'd be better, but I mean we'll see how things go. He may I may shop one of these two around and we have Emilio Bonifacio batting 234 we need to fill the right field position in the offseason definitely need that so now I'll just go down to the double A Olivier Zapata who was a draft pick from last year he's doing alright 4.23 alright I need to keep that down but he's only 18 years old so he's got plenty of plenty of time Colby Allard are one of the top 50 pitching prospects 3.90 ERA like just please like, what's struggling you're 20. Come on, buddy. Lucas Sims doing okay. 3.72, 6 and 7. We got next up. We have Wes Parsons. 5 and 9, 8 and strikeouts, 3.3 ERA. And then we have our, our second draft pick, Rick Ledford, who has insane stamina, I must admit. He has a deep potential, but I mean, he's doing all right. 1 and 2. Once again, records are pretty misleading. 1 and 2, 32. 32 and two-thirds pitching, 3.5 ERA, not too bad. ERA is not good for you. However, this guy's been absolutely killing it. I feel bad. Like, I can't, I want to start, I mean, I could put him in. I could put him in, but I don't really want to take anybody out entirely. Because all these guys have the potential to really do well. Brady Fuel, um, 26, he's, he's a butt. He's just going to probably stay down there. Look at you. 1 and 0, 48.1 year innings pitch, 43 strikeouts, 2.79 year. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm I'm very I'm pleasantly surprised with that. Here's Jack Moy, and I believe that's another draft pick of ours. Um 3.14 year. It's not terrible. I like to get that get that down a little bit. Rob Wooten. I mean, he's like 31 years old, so at least he's doing well. At least he's doing something. Uh, that's yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go check out the lineup. Ronald Acuna actually batting 292. He's 20 years old. He's a speed demon. He's a, a speed demon with like 78, 79 speed. It's pretty good. Now we have the man Ozahino Albies, who this team actually has a ton of all stars. I'm kind of surprised. Francisco Mejia, I believe we got in a trade from the Indians last year. He he's been killing it. A catcher who can bat 321. Through the break, or at least through the Hall-Star break, that's insane. I mean, bottom lineup's not doing too well, but Braxton da Davidson, pleasant surprise. Like he's been living up to a little bit, batting 271. That's good. Yeah, that's that's doing pretty good. Dion Toscano batting 356. That's awesome. Bang. I mean, he's only he's 28. I mean, granted, he's 28, but at the same time, that's awesome. Donald Estrella, who he has a deep potential, but. It hasn't been too bad. Two not two sixty one batting average. Speed demon on the bases. Chris Betts. <laughs> I've got two hot catches right now. I don't know which one to start. Three twenty one, three fifteen. Like both of them have been absolutely killing it. Wrong team, but I mean look, it, it's it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to decide because I really don't. I feel bad for benching this guy, but at the same time, like. <laughs> He he's been killing it. I'm so glad I got him in a trade. 
All right, that takes care of double A. Now let's move. Leave this is. Let's move to triple A. Here we go. Here's our look at the pitching rotation. Jiwei Hugh, who was killing it in the double A last year, hasn't been great. I don't know why Max Fry. Max Fry's in the bullpen. Hasn't really been getting it done too much since we caught him up last year, like at the end of last year. Jason Hirsch, 2 3, 3.43 ERA. That's, that's, that's good. That's pretty good. Aaron Blair, I just gotta, he's got to get that ERA down. He's just got to get, like, just please. Manny Banuelos, the guy we caught up last year for like a stint or two or for a little while, sent him back down because he was doing bad. Now he's picking it up again. So it's 2 0, 2.81 ERA. That's good. And then Sean Newcomb, I believe, is uh, definitely definitely like a top pitching prospect in our um, in our minors. Hasn't really been getting the job done, unfortunately. Man, he's only 20, he's 23 too. Come on now, he's got to pick it up. Here's Shea Simmons, not really good. Nick, 0 and 5, 3.96 ERA. That's not all we want to see. However, Ian Kroll, he's done well. 2 and 1, 30.1. Innings pitch, 25 strikeouts, 1.79 ERA, 1.78 ERA. Simone Mercedes, B potential reliever, 62 overall, great, having a great year so far. 4-1, 51 innings pitch, 45 strikeouts, and a 2.82 ERA. Absolutely. Danny Burrowa, 2-6, 3.71 ERA, okay. He was an all-star last year. He's actually doing, he's still still doing all right. Still doing all right for himself. He's only 24. And he's got a 2.58 ERA, so I definitely consider I'll definitely consider you if I if I need help in September. Definitely consider you. Now let's take a look at the lineups. Dansby Swanson. I, I actually haven't been batting leadoff because he's got good speed and good contact. It may be his time to shine. It just may be. Dansby Swanson. I might I might see him cut get caught up. Might just might. More score catcher batting 307. That's that's wonderful. He's only 21 too. He just keep, things keep going better. Our, our um our Riley systems are looking wonderful. Alex Jackson, that's good. He was an eight potential. Apparently, got down in the offseason. He wasn't having the hottest year last year, but now he's been really picking it up. 274 batting average. Crushed a good amount of home runs. I'm kind of, I was kind of impressed by that. He's been crushing home runs. 14, which I believe leads the team. Chase Vallo, who um, I believe is the other catcher, all-star catcher we got last year. Actually, I'm pretty sure he was on our own team, but not doing so hot. 234, Matt Tua Sopo. So Sopo, I believe. Batting 190. And El Castro, Rio Ruiz, who can replace, who could replace, who could be the next third baseman. Still on a 65 beat potential. I'd say if you got to keep it up, get get the rating, get the overall going higher, and then we can be talking about uh, a call-up. Jordy... Jordy Lara, after being an all-star last year, hasn't really been getting it done too well. More score. I'm, I'm probably going to have to send you down because I don't want to stunt your growth. Maybe it was a mistake leaving you up here. So, um, I think the moment of truth has come, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Dansby Swanson. Welcome to the big leagues. As a Hino Albies, you're going to move up to AAA. And now... I want the I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with him because I'll probably I'll probably end up trading him because I got three <laughs> I got these two um, I'll be just fine I'll be just fine Albies has the better arm strength so just in case Rio Ruiz doesn't work out entirely we could always um send him back down or whatever or we know we can always um if Ruiz doesn't work out we can put Albies at third if we have to. But he'll probably go to second. Alex Jackson doing pretty well. Keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. Who else? We gotta send down one guy since we we're over the limit on the bigs. So we're gonna go and go ahead and send down. I believe we're gonna send down a reliever. Let's take a look. Who are we gonna send down? Paco, Alex Torres, no. Uh, I was hoping you do well. <laughs> it pains me. It does. He's done really well, so no. Capuano, I could. He's 38. Um, yeah, we'll send you down. We're gonna send Chris Capuano down. So bounce out that. Um, is there anybody else we should promote? So here's Ian Ian Kroll. 
I've been pleasantly surprised with you. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you a chance. You know what? I'll give you a chance. Moves, welcome to the MLB. He's been, he's been, he's been stellar. I mean, he was been, he's been absolutely killing it. Shea Simmons, stay down there. I'm gonna move you down to Triple A. You've been awful. I don't know why. Like, you had you like, you looked nice, but when I signed you in the off season, but not not great, not great now. And um, for pitching, oh yeah, we also gotta send out that guy Humphreys. Center fielders, Lipka. I probably send you down. May I may end up sending you down. Um, good for about Ronald Acuna. I could do that. Six four, gonna move you down to the double A. Batting one hundred sixty four, I can't I can't deal with that. That's not acceptable. Ronald Acuna, we will uh move you I don't that's the only problem. Well we should we have uh Fielder and Ciarte. It's the only problem now is who do we have depth wise on we have Lipka. That's the only problem if I send him down. If I send him down, the only problem would be who's going to be the backup. That's the only problem. I mean, most of the. I mean, however. Eh, could be Bonifacio. Eh, it's a, who's going to be the depth? Who's going to be that depth guy? I mean, I could probably sign somebody. I mean, I could do that. So, you know what? We'll go ahead. We're going to go sit down and. I'm gonna go ahead and set down Lipka, because he hasn't been really doing anything. Triple A will take Humphreys' spot. Okuna, just keep on tearing it up. You'll be up in no time. I need you to get your act together. Um, Malik Smith, just just keep on doing you. And yeah, I believe. <sighs> Dansby Swanson. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, he's 10 overall difference, but at the same time, he hasn't done anything. I'll keep you up for now. You'll you'll stay on the bench for now. Stay on the bench for now. If you keep, if he doesn't, if he doesn't do anything, we will think we will discuss trades at a later date. Since we did send down, okay, I put Bonifacio. We'll, we'll start now. Yep, um, looking good. And I believe that's going to be it. Ms. Perez. Yeah, I believe that's going to be it for the All-Star break for Port. Yeah, I believe that's it. We'll sign the draft picks at a later date. I'm not entirely worried about them right now. But, um, yeah, so that's, I think that's going to wrap up for this episode episode thank you thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please let me know what you think of the video by leaving a rating or a comment down below but nonetheless thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in my next episode